In today's video, I want to share the five best AI tools I use to automate a big part of my business that makes over $100 per day. You might not need all of these tools, but if you have any type of online business or you want to start one, I'm sure you might benefit from at least a few of these. Let's have a look. The first tool I want to share with you is Opus Clip at opus.pro. This is a very good AI tool if you have anything to do with long form video. Uh, you can actually just put up your long form video in here and get viral clips in vertical form for your short form content for like YouTube Shorts, TikTok or Instagram Reels. And this is a big time saver and it's very easy to use. Uh, let's say we have an example here. This is a podcast episode from uh, the diary of a CEO. So all you have to do is copy the URL of your YouTube video and go back to Opus Clip, drop the link down in here and click on get free clips. This even has a free tier, so you can try it out. I think you get a couple of hours actually for free, so that's very generous. Uh, they have multilingual language, they have all the kind of features you kind of need to do vertical clips. So I really recommend it. So basically when I click on this now, we will, after like 5 to 10 minutes, we will get to this screen. So here you can see we have different short form clips we can use uh, for short form content. So let's have a, a listen to one of them. As you can see, we also have the hard-coded captions into the video, and that's also a big time saver. Uh, but now, let's have a listen to the clip. So what you're doing and what those sleep stories are doing and what meditation is doing, it's all the same thing, which is that it is taking your mind off itself. So you can see how easy these are to create, right, with these tools. And yeah, it's just a big time saver and almost a must-use if you are into creating both long-form and short form content. Now let's move on to our second tool. And that is going to be the ChatGPT advanced data analysis. So how I am actually going to show you how I use this is going to be to combine tool number two, this one, and with tool number three. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a podcast episode. So I just wanted to show you how I actually use this. So uh, a few weeks ago, or a few days ago, I guess, I read this article here on Time Magazine, how the AI revolution will reshape the world. I found it really interesting. So what I went ahead and did is I just took notes from this article. So you can see we have the notes here in just a doc file here on Google Disk, Google Drive. And I also wrote my own notes on the industrial revolution. So what I wanted to use ChatGPT advanced data analysis for is to combine those two PDF files and create a podcast episode about the correlations between the industrial revolution and the article I read about how AI will reshape the world. So here you can see I used the prompt here to use a function in the advanced data analysis called PDF Plumber that can read PDF files. You can see I kind of follow up with you are an expert tech writer a futurist your writing style is professional but also engaging write in first person and expect your thoughts about the topic at hand look for correlations in the two pdf and explore the topic and brainstorm three ideas for articles you can write and then we ended up with these three ideas so you can see we have data the new coal comparing the fuel of two revolutions we have humanity's elasticity adaptation across ages the evolving ethics of progress, navigating morality from Steam to AI. So here I kind of like this ID the most. So I went ahead to write an incredible article for Time Magazine on ID number one. Uh, Time also wants to know your thoughts about if there ever could be a war for data. They're asking for a minimum of 1000 to 1500 words. Uh, and then we get the article here. So basically this is how I have been using ChatGPT data analysis to create content that I kind of want to use for my podcast. Uh, we're gonna, sh I'm gonna show you in the next step now a tool I use to create the podcast episodes. And that is gonna be 11 Labs. This is a text to voice tool I have been using a lot on this channel if you have watched me for a while. I'm a big fan of this and they are always bringing out new features. As you can see here now, I am actually in the work of creating my own professional voice. So I have fed it a lot of data on my own voice, so I'm really excited to see how that turned out. Because they have this new category called professional voices here. And these are actually people that have trained their own voice on this, so let's have a listen to one of them. So let's have a listen to one of my colleagues here on YouTube, that's gonna be Matt Vidpro. So let's have a listen to his voice. 
a wise man will make more opportunities than he finds. So why I'm actually so interested in this is if my voice is gonna sound exactly like me, then I can start incorporating that voice into my actual content that I use on other channels. Uh, but for now, let's have a listen to the voice I use for the podcast. So I'm just gonna pick the voice and let's play a bit of this text I have written here for the introduction of my episode. So basically how you use this is you just pick your voice right, you set your parameters here, we got stability, we got clarity, we got style accretion, so we got a lot to work with here. You paste in your text here and it's just to click generate. Welcome to the Think Big podcast, a journey into the profound and the perplexing, where curiosity meets contemplation. Okay, so you get the point, right? So this is actually the tool I use to create my podcast. Uh, if you want to have a listen to the podcast, you can find it here, it's the Think Big podcast. And I thought we could just play a bit of the newest episode I just created. That is actually going to be the episode we have, have a looked at in this episode about the article I read in Time Magazine. So let's have a listen to 20 seconds of the episode. In today's episode, I wanted to share my thoughts after reading Mustafa Suleiman's article, How the AI Revolution Will Reshape the World, in Time Magazine. I immediately drew parallels to the Industrial Revolution, and that data might be the new coal. Will we ever see a full-scale war on data? Here are my thoughts. So tune in, take a seat, and let your mind wander. In the heart of the 19th century, coal was king. It drove the engines of the Industrial Revolution, transforming agrarian societies into bustling urban centers and propelling humanity into an era of unprecedented growth and innovation. Okay, so you get the point. So yeah, I actually have got over 1,000 downloads uh, of the podcast, and it's actually showing up on some of the lists. So uh, I think it's been a good experiment so far. Remember, I have only used AI tools for this podcast. Uh, if you want to get more into this, I think this is a great way to just start exploring these tools and Create your own podcast on whatever topic you are interested in. And it's going to be even better when I can start using my own voice now that I have trained on LLM Labs to integrate into maybe a new podcast. Okay, so I think that's it for LLM Labs. Let's move on to our fourth tool. And that is going to be a pretty straightforward tool that is basically a YouTube video summarizer that is powered by ChatGPT. It's ytsummary.app. And I use this a lot because I found it very easy to use on my own videos or other videos you kind of want to take some notes for, for maybe your content creation. So uh, let me show you how this works. So the, basically the only thing I have to do is get my YouTube link. I'm just going to paste it in here and I only have to click on summarize. You can change the language here if you want to do that. And you can get segments or outline. We're just going to go to outline and English now and just click on summarize. Yeah, and that was pretty quick. Uh, you can see there are some small errors here. It's like it says GBT, but it's supposed to be chat GPT, right? Uh, so you got to be aware of those small uh, errors. You might have to edit manually, but we get a summary. We get a highlights uh, that is basically bullet points and we get a detailed summary and I read through it and uh, yeah, I think it does a good job. So what I like to do is I take all of these summaries. I kind of use them to create maybe a blog post or some other form of content from my own videos. And yeah, I like it so far, and I think it could only get better with newer versions of ChatGPT. That was a quick tool for tool number four. Now let's move on to our final and fifth tool. And that is going to be a combination of mid-journey with other sites like maybe Etsy or Sassel, where you can actually take your own images and put them on other things you can sell online. It can be digital products or whatever you kind of want. Uh, but we're going to focus on mid-journey and on Sassel for this episode, but here is just up to your imagination. So how I thought about how I'm going to try to do an experiment of using this is basically... I kind of looked up all the most popular dog breeds of, let's say, 2022. So I found French Bulldogs, Labrador Retrievers, and a whole bunch of other dogs here. So you can see I just used this pretty simple prompt here. So we got, uh, you can see here, French Bulldog Puppy, color drawing, clean background. And we got some Labrador Puppies here, <laughs> right? Uh, and what I was thinking about is using, let's say I like this one. So I just blew this up, right? And you can see this cute puppy we have here. So if we go on to, let's say, Sassel here, 
we can actually create a, a wood box sign here with the image of this puppy, right? And you can just order a bunch of these, but even better, you can do like kind of like a drop shipping business out of this. You can actually sell on Sassel, even just so they do all the delivery and stuff, you only do the design. So I think this could be a very viable thing to do. But remember, there is a lot of competition, so you kind of have to find a way to stand out. But if you find a special trend or a niche that no one has explored yet, I think there are some amount of money to be made on this project. You just gotta experiment, see what's working, see what's not, and iterate on that. And yeah, that was basically all the AI tools I had for you today. So basically, if you're running an online business or if you plan to start one, I think some of these tools you should really take a look at and they might help you get along, save time and even make your margins better. Uh, so yeah, thank you for tuning in. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon.